Well, get this, a retired BYU professor continues to travel the world, but he never leaves his home. All he does is step into his backyard. Tonight, we take you inside the story of the backyard mural artist, Dan Rascone joining us live. And Dan, I understand he transforms his backyard, right? Yep, that's correct, Mark. It all started with a mural on the wall of his backyard shed. Then it was another wall, and then it just kept going and going. And now at 90 years old, DeLamar Jensen continues to relive his travels across the world. It's a relaxing place. The backyard of Delamar Jensen's home. A place of peace and refuge. And I can just sit and relax. Yes, the view of Y Mountain is majestic. But for Delamar, the real joy comes in what lines his backyard walls. I can't think of any place better than sitting out here on the couch and looking at the world. And the artist behind the work? This is the castle of Chillon. Delamar himself. At 90 years old, he still has a sharp mind in a steady hand. When I'm painting, I, I lose the track of time and everything. Delamar is a retired BYU history professor, a man who has traveled the world twice over and more, visiting every country in Europe. And I've been to all the countries of South America, and I've been to the islands. So his paintings are not just coming off a picture, but from his mind's eye. But I like the fact that I've been to every one of those places and I can see them. This is uh, Brient, Switzerland. We parked the car right here because I couldn't leave that beautiful scenery. That It all started about 16 years ago. Well, that's the first one I painted. With this painting on his backyard shed. This is uh, the Torres del Paine. This is where it started. He enjoyed it so much. I added the condors after that. That he decided to do another and then another. And now? The first one is the Great Wall of China. I did this in honor of my son who was on a mission to to Holland. This is Machu Picchu. He has. This is Mount McKinley. It used to be Mount McKinley. It's been changed now to Mount Denali. 11 Finnish murals. This is Hawaii. There's a storm moving this way. Now this is uh, Samoa. It's called uh, Tava'asina. And this is uh, China. For miles and miles, these spectacular mountains. This is the pyramids of Egypt. That's my two daughters on horseback. And four walls left to go. I told my kids I'm going to live to be 100. Maybe I'll be close to 100 then. The life and travels of Delamar and his family are all captured in a three-volume biography he has written. His travel days may be over. I'm going to have some trees in here. But that doesn't mean Delamar still can't see the world. Uh, so what I do now is I come in my backyard. If I want to go to New Zealand, I go to New Zealand. If I want to go to China, I go to China and reminisce. Yeah, that was something else to be in his backyard there. Now, Delamar says he's been painting or sketching pretty much his entire life. He's never had one lesson completely self-taught. He and his wife, who passed away six months ago, have five kids. One of them there sitting on the backyard with him. 20 grandchildren and 41 great-grandkids. For more on this story and other Inside the Stories, go to KUTV.com, click on Features and Inside the